Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In South Korea, there is a law called the Military Enlistment Law that has been around since 1957. The law requires all male citizens between the age 18 and 28 to perform military services for their country. This means that depending on the branch of military they are in, South Korea's male stars will be out of sight for a long period of time. Typically, men assigned under the army and marine will have to perform their duties for about 21 months and those who are assigned to navy will serve for about 23 months and those in air force will serve around 24 months. In this video, we will see how the actors looked like when they were in the army. The actual army, mind you, not the role that they were playing in the drama. Without further delay, let's jump right into the video. Now, in this video, we will see some of our favorite stars who were in military to serve their country. Number 1 in our list is Hyun Bin. He began his mandatory military service on the 7th of March 2011 and joined the Marine Corps, said to be the toughest branch of the army. He volunteered to join them because he had a good impression of Marines and despite stiff competition, managed to place in the top 5 percentage of the applicants. The Marine Corps originally planned to put Hyun Bin on public relations duty, but after public criticism and reportedly the actor's own desire to serve on the front lines, he was assigned to active duty instead. He was named a top marksman as well. He was discharged on 6th December 2012. Number 2 in our list is Lee Seung Ji. The boyish, handsome actor-singer enlisted on 1st February 2016. After a five-week training session, he was assigned to the 13th Special Mission Brigade nicknamed Decapitation Unit. Their members were trained to conduct unconventional warfare in enemy territory. No decapitation involved, of course, and tasked to neutralize well-protected, high-priority targets such as political and military leaders and facilities. It was reported that Seong Ji also volunteered to undergo various training programs such as parachuting and Krav Mega that were not required for enlistment and administrative soldiers. Seong Ji was discharged from the army on the 31st October 2017 where he was greeted by 400 fans. Number 3 in our list is Gong Yo. He enlisted on 14 January 2008 and did 8 months of frontline active service before he was transferred to the Defense Media Agency. Over there, he served in Public Relations Department and was a DJ for the Army radio station. Gong Kyo was discharged from the Army in December 2009. Number 4 in our list is Lee Min Hu, the King Eternal Monarch star, enlisted on May 12, 2017 and served as a Public Service Officer. He was unable to serve as an active duty officer due to injuries sustained in a car crash in 2006. Lee Min Ho was discharged on 25th April 2019. Number 5 in our list is Lee Joon Gi. Lee Joon Gi's breakthrough role was as a clown in 2005 historical drama The King and the Clown, and he was also recognized for his work on the 2005 romantic comedy My Girl. He initially wanted to defer his military service as he had two upcoming projects. However, his application was rejected and Joon Gi was enlisted on 3rd May 2010. He earned top scores in marksmanship during his basic training and was later assigned to the Ministry of National Defense Public Relationship Department. In August 2010, he starred in the military musical Voyage of Life alongside fellow actor Ju Ji Hyun. After 21 months of active duty, Joon Gi was discharged on 16th February 2012. Number 6 in our list is Kang Han Nyun. He is an accomplished actor known for his roles in dramas like The Hires and Angel Eyes. In 2020, he was ranked the 23rd on the annual Forbes Korea Power Celebrity list. Kang Han Nyul enlisted on 11th September 2017 and his basic training completion ceremony took place on October 24th, where he was also recognized for his exemplary performance. He was appointed as the Honorary Ambassador of Military Manpower Administration MMA on the February 22, 2019. He was discharged on May 23, 2019, but as an ambassador, he participated in events organized by MMA till December 2019. Number 7 in our list is Kim So Hyun. 
a top Hallu star and one of the highest paid actors in South Korea, So Hyun is best known for his roles on Dream High, My Love from the Stars and most recently It's Okay to Not Be Okay. The star started his military service on the 23rd October 2017 and was supposed to be on public service duty due to pre-existing cardiac condition but was eventually cleared for combat. He was placed fourth on the list of outstanding trainees during his basic training and was rewarded with a vacation by a divisional commander. Subsequently, So Hyun was deployed to the 1st Reconnaissance Battalion to continue his duty calling its it a right decision and received an early promotion to the rank of sergeant. He was discharged on the 1st July 2019. Number 8 in our list is Ji Chang Wook. He started his career in a musical theatre and shot to fame after playing the lead in the 2010 drama series Smile Again. He enlisted on 14th August 2017 and upon completion of his basic training was awarded a prize for his good performance. He was then assigned to the 5th Artillery Brigade for the remainder of his service and rose to the ranks to become a surgeon. Chang Wook was discharged on 27th April 2019. Number 9 in our list is Park Hyun Sik. The singer turned actor is a part of South Korean boy band ZEA and is also known for his roles in shows such as The Hires and High Society Suits as well as Strong Woman Do Bang Soo. Hyun Sik, 27, started his military service on 20th June 2019 and trained as a military police officer at the Capital Defense Command. He previously shared that he was inspired to join the Capital Defense Command after he was praised for his shooting skills while training for the variety show Real Man. He was discharged on 4th January 2021. Number 10 in our list is OK Tai Sion. The South Korean actor-singer was initially approved for public service due to herniated disc. However, he underwent surgery to correct it as well to remove metal pins in his arm from a break and was subsequently cleared for active duty in December 2013. He delayed his enlistment due to heavy workload and finally enlisted on September 4, 2017. Taizion served as a military instructional assistant and rose through the ranks quickly due to his exceptional conduct. His efforts were recognized and praised by the previous South Korean Prime Minister Lee Nak Yeon. Due to his outstanding performance in the military, he was appointed as a special class warrior by his division commander and was recognized as a model soldier by the Military Manpower Academy. He was also nicknamed as Captain Korea by netizens because he had similar physique to that of Marvel superhero. Number 11 in our list is Song Joon Ki. The Vincenzo star enlisted on 27th of August 2013 at the 102 draft camp in Chancheon. He served in an infantry unit assigned to patrol and conduct reconnaissance missions along with DMZ and was discharged on 26 May 2015. Number 12 in our list is Lee Jong Suk. The model turned actor began his mandatory military service on the 8th of March 2019. Lee was deemed unfit to enlist as an active duty soldier as a result of going through a car accident when he was 16 and tore his anterior crucial ligament. However, he served as a public service worker due, his, due to his past injury. He was discharged from his military service on the 2nd January 2021. Number 13 in our list is Park Seo Jun. The actor debuted in 2011 appearing in a Bang Young Gook's music video, I Remember. His first drama role was in 2012 in a music drama, Dream High 2. Since then, he has skyrocketed to fame. Those who became Park Seo Joon's fans were blessed to discover the fact that he went straight to the military after high school in 2008 when he was 19 years old. He started his acting career after he was discharged in 2010. Finally, in our list is Lee Dong Pook. He headed to fulfill his two-year military service requirement on the 24th of August 2009. He arrived at the training center in Changcheon province to undergo his five weeks of basic training before he was assigned to the National Public Defense Service. Approximately a crowd of 100 fans showed to wish him well. He was discharged from the military service in June 2011. 
There are two more actors who are currently serving in military and they are not a part of this list. They are Jang Ki Yong and Park Bo Kum. Jang Ki Yong, who recently starred in the drama Now We Are Breaking Up, enlisted in the military on the 23rd of August 2021. He entered the Korean Army Training Center to undergo basic military training before fulfilling his service as an active duty soldier. Park Bo Gum enlisted in the military on the 31st of August 2020. After his 5 week training he joined the navy and is expected to be discharged in April 2022. Among the actors in this video which of the actors you missed during their military service please to mention your reply in the comment section below. That's all with this video. Please help us grow by clicking on like share and subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you'll get a notification as and when I post a video. I'll be back soon with another video until then stay safe and stay healthy bye